So I was called out for making videos on Eugenia Cooney to benefit my YouTube channel. And to those comments, I say to them, well done, you're really smart. Of course I made videos on Eugenia Cooney for views. Like, I don't see what's wrong with that. Like, I wasn't exploiting her physical health or anything like that. I was making a video talking about her because I wanted to get views. Because I wanted people to understand my opinions. And I wanted to cause a conversation. I don't really get how that's something that should be looked down upon. But regardless of that, I've been called out for milking Eugenia Cooney for views. Because I made two videos on her. One video in which I reacted to her latest video. And the second video in which I reacted to comments on the original video I made. However, something that I've noticed is a lot of YouTubers are still making videos on Eugenia Cooney. I thought to myself, why not take a look at some of these videos and see whether or not, I want to see whether or not people are saying new things about her, even though she hasn't actually published anything publicly since the tweet, which was literally like two weeks ago. Before this video starts, smash like guys and subscribe to the channel if you're new today. It helps me out a lot. Right, this channel is called Cr Crimson Studios. They uploaded this video four days ago. Where is Eugenia Cooney now? I mean, I don't know if she's actually updated anyone on, like, where she is. So, I don't get why they're making this video. Because they're not going to know, are they? 2.9k likes to 188 dislikes. Hang on a minute. Why is my video in the recommended? Oh, Schmidt. I got recognized. Okay, I forgot to mention this. I went to Nottingham Uni uh, to an open day. Because that's the uni I want to go to to study chemistry, if you cared. And I actually met a fan. And it made me feel really good because when he saw me, he was like, wow, you're really tall. And that really improved my ego size. So if you guys see me in public, improve my ego size. I, I, I'm very self-conscious about it. Anyway, let's let's watch this video. Actually, never mind. It doesn't have the guy's face in. Okay, I don't want to like overwrite this guy's whole video, but why would they not show off their face? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, if you're a YouTuber and you make videos criticizing people, talking about like controversial topics, if you don't have your face in the videos, you're kind of not standing by your point, which I think gives it less credit. Like, if someone makes an exposed video on someone and they use a goddamn text-to-speech, which I've heard before, like, what are you doing? Like, I'm not going to take you seriously and I'm not going to take your criticism logically because you don't have the balls to share your face. Uh, Anision, I think, has made a lot of videos on, uh, on Eugene Kuni. I, I can tell because <laughs> three people in a row when you search Eugene Kuni have made videos about him making videos on her. So let's see how many videos Anision's made on Eugenia. Four videos. You know what? Out of all the YouTubers that I've seen make videos on Eugenia Cooney, I don't think he's the worst. I think people have made more videos on her. I actually watched this video that Inision made titled You Guys Saved Eugenia. And this video was very good. Like the thing is with Inision is people are so quick to criticize him. And I do feel bad for him because... He does make some really good videos, and I think this is one of them. He actually seems genuine in this video, and no one recognizes that. People just see him as a dickhead, because so many people make videos on him. Hating hey guys, him. He I never got... gets any good publicity. This video is on Anision and Eugenia Cooney. Let's get views. Made by our good friend, Physic. Wow, what a great name. No one has saved Eugenia Cooney. Anision, leave her alone. Jesus Christ. He makes it out like Anision's literally harassing her. Like, he only made, was it three or four videos on her? That doesn't even seem that bad to me. Like, maybe I'm a prick as well, but, like, there are a lot of things to say about her, you know? And I think one of the videos he made about her is him responding to criticism. So he's only made three actual videos on Eugenie Cooney, which I think is a bit off. I don't think it warrants, though, this title. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, guys. Today... I am so blessed. Right, let me so pause the video straight away. Shay, oh my god. This guy looks like a bum. I have bad facial hair as well, but I'm going through a deep state of depression. I have an excuse. Come on, Physic. Maybe he's going through depression as well. He has a guitar, so he probably is. <laughs> god, I'm, I'm joking, okay? I don't like guitars. They just piss me off for some reason. Anisio. Let me see those healing hands. Let me feel those healing hands. Okay, so this is called filler. A YouTuber will include filler in their videos if there isn't actually that much substance to talk about, but they want to increase its length and watch time. Please say hallelujah. <laughs> yes, I am blessed. I am blessed to be once again talking Come. about the <laughs> this guy's earring. <laughs> Looks like an anchor. <laughs> oh, I do it. I don't know. I'm tired as hell. Again, I went on his page 
and I saw a video titled Eugene Cooney Update. And I thought, this oh, is something funny, right? It's not funny, but like, you don't see Anishion's videos in the recommended. That's something I've noticed. You only see his videos like through his actual channel, which you search for. Just the fact, like, I've not seen any of Anishion's videos in the recommended. I thought, cool, maybe I can actually um, see how Eugene is doing. But is it is it an update on Eugene Cooney? Is it? Of course it isn't. It's just an easy on blabbing about nothing, using a girl's mental illness to gain him a load of coins. Right. Firstly, this guy has a point. Like, you know, Anision, he made a video along the lines of update on Eugenia Cooney, and he actually brought to, like, no information, really. I mean, he did. Like, it is an update to people who don't know much about the scenario, but to someone who knows a lot about the scenario, it's not new information. So I do think the title is a bit, you know, a bit clickbaity, honestly. And I agree with him on that point. Unfortunately, I agree with this complete fat slob. But the thing is, at the end of the day, right, he calls Inision out for trying to make coin off Eugenia Cooney. No way! All my videos I made on Eugenia Cooney were demonetized. I'm sure that Eugenia Cooney videos get demonetized. My past two did get demonetized, so I doubt he's doing it for coin. Great one. So I'm going to be showing you some clips from some of my connector's videos as well, because he seems to uh, be on my page when I'm talking about this. He seems to understand that Anision is absolutely using a girl's mental illness just to benefit himself. Uh, See, I, I, this is the thing. There's a fine line between using someone's mental illness for views and talking about a situation that lots of people care about for views. There's a fine line difference. One of them's evil, the other one is smart. Admittedly, he is using her mental health for views, but you are as well. Like, with her name in the title. Like, that's why people are watching the video. So, it's just a bit off, really. I don't think there's going to be much for me to talk about in this video, because it does look quite well made. So, I give him credit for that. Proof Eugenia Cooney had Asperger's, in brackets, ASD. Guys, you can diagnose someone with a flipping mental illness over the internet. Who would have thought it? About an hour and a half ago, I made a video and I was literally in tears. And for a second, I was convinced that Eugenia was dead. So I had to, you know, I had to blurt out what I, all of my feelings about it. So I went and made a video. And then I realized I seemed a bit hysterical. Calm down. Okay, a minute. there's a bit of urgency at the start of this video. Just calm down. I don't know what you're saying over there. I know this is a horrible, sensitive time to make this video. I can't do it anymore. I need to say what I need to say. I am not a doctor. I did not finish college. I want to go. I don't get how diagnosing someone with this Burgess is gonna help anything. I don't. I don't get it because, like, it's very, very, very far fetched. I am not a doctor. I did not finish college. I want to go. But I don't want to be a psychologist or anything like that. Wow, I are you joking me? Yeah. <laughs> Lawyer judges whether or not crimes were dealt with correctly. At the start of it, I could say, "Oh, guys, I didn't go to, I didn't go to uni. I just wish I went to uni, you know, so that means I'm qualified." I want to go, but I don't want to be a psychologist or anything like that. I learned all of the cognitive neuroscience stuff on my own on the side because I want to do something to help autistic people in my future. I think, I think Corey is autistic thinking about it just by how she's speaking, flipping out. That's not an insult, but she's just speaking really weirdly. Nah, that sounds like an insult. If I don't make this video, I'm going to regret what 22-year-old Corey had to say before she went to school. Not being a doctor, here is what I think. I do not have permission to review Eugenia Cooney's health and neither did anybody else who leaves a comment about it or anything like that. If you're saying she's anorexic, you're diagnosing her too. With my studies of cognitive neuroscience, Eugenia Cooney shows significance- Right, I'm just saying, I think it's a lot easier to say she's anorexic rather than ha have autism or like Asperger's or whatever. Not only of anorexia, but of autism spectrum disorder, which is something that I have oh, too. Shit. I <laughs> God dang it. Oh, no, I shouldn't have said the thing at the start. Like, oh, no. I apologize. I mean, all I did is predict. No, I made a joke. Ah, oh, shit. I was incredibly fascinated. I've been studying psychology for four years now. I took part of it in college, but I had to drop out. I need to learn this stuff on my own or I'm never going to make it in college. I am, a I am autistic. I have to learn things on my own place. At my own pace, I need to know how I know lots of people are going to feel sorry for this person making this video. And I know people are going to criticize me for reacting to her in such a 
like savage way in such a like maybe a harsh way but at the end of the day the reason why i am is because the title is very dangerous even though she may have a mental disorder it's still titled this and i'm treating her like i would anyone else like i'm not treating her badly because of like her autism or whatever you've got the list of traits and it's not as simple as looking at the list of traits i'm not going to get into the cognitive parts of the brain so when you look at the list of traits and i'm not talking the small list you find on google i am talking tanya marshall's i've memorized all of these traits at the top of my head just about every single one of them believe t take my word for it or not it's almost photographic i don't know how to explain it it's awesome oh, she's though. autistic so i do take a word for it and i believe that 100 percent on a real note though, like, she knows so much about autism, and you know what, I, I honestly think that if, if this video was titled something like, Why Eugenia Cooney May Have Asperger's, that is a good title. This video would be so good, but the fact that she's saying that it's proof that she has it, so she definitely has it, and then in the video she's saying to people who call her out for being anorexic, they're immoral, like, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> Topic obsession. Autistic people have crazy Jesus. topic obsession. Is this going to be like the sociopath thing? Someone could be a sociopath because I was smart and funny. <laughs> Fam, it better not be the same thing. Nah. She's obsessed with her own eating disorder and Jack Skellington. Yeah, that, that's a point. Yeah, I get anime. that. These obsessions are prevalent, very prevalent. They are life-consuming for, it's been about five years for this Jack Skellington obsession. So what I'm guessing is, everybody says she wants to look like Jack. I think she wanted to be his wife. I'm sorry, did you read the description of that? I think I have a slight obsession with Jack Skeleton. What does that mean? I think Eugenia Cooney wants to be his wife. What? Jack, I think she wanted to be his I wife. I think she's doing it for One views. of the traits on Tanya's list says, may engage in role play. It's pretty common for girls on the autism spectrum to become anorexic because they have OCD. OCD is not just contamination, fear, compulsions. No, it is your thoughts. It's repetitive Isn't thoughts. O anorexic. Doesn't OCD stand for obsessive compulsion? And she just said that it doesn't involve compulsion compulsive behavior i don't get it i'm confused anorexia is considered a form of ocd because this is an obsessive compulsion need ocd is a huge sign in autism so it makes total sense to me that she's got jack skellington laying around every everywhere what i'm thinking is she watched the video when she was young and still impressionable and maybe eugenia was bullied a lot you know so for, maybe Eugenia was bullied for being odd or different. What she does is not normal for somebody above the age of 22. And you guys can tell yeah, me... But she's a YouTuber. Like, there's nothing normal about being a YouTuber. You see, the thing is, is she has a YouTube channel, right? And she has a life just because she's obsessed with, you know, Jack Skeleton in her videos. In some of her videos, this is not all of them. That doesn't mean she's actually dead set obsessed with jack skeleton in general it could be just part of a brand do you really think like logan paul is like that passionate about being a savage like and dabbing on the haters like it's the same thing you know this is all just a weird topic because i don't think she has asperger's she has traits of it yeah whatever but i think most people would but like at the end of the day i just don't think she has asperger's like i don't think you can judge it i just don't think you can but i think she's just you know reaching quite far on that that's pretty much it anyway i'm gonna end this video here smash like if you enjoyed it. subscribe to the channel if you're new today and i'll be seeing you guys later bye